Following on from our last build video on the DeWalt X2, I thought it's probably a pretty good opportunity to run everybody through what the Patriot Campus X2 is all about and specifically what we've done for DeWalt, the modifications that we've made to turn this into a, a little bit of a tradie trailer. So Patriot Campus X2 has been designed ultimately for compact size and lightweight maneuverability, meaning you can put this X2 at around 800 kilos with the way that it currently sits behind absolutely anything and take it anywhere. There's a lot of tradies that can really take advantage of the multi-use of the Patriot Campers range and predominantly the X2 and the X1N. You've got a modular design in these camper trailers, meaning that the tent with eight bolts, you can remove the tent and you can put on a ladder rack to carry whatever sort of tradie gear that you like. If you're a plumber or a builder, roofing contractor, you can set it up in a couple of different ways. You've got a massive warning on the other side, which I'll, I'll show you through in a minute, and a kitchen on board with a fridge and a power system to power all of your tools. There's about 1,800 odd litres of storage inside of an X2, which again makes it absolutely perfect for a trader. So what we might do is, we'll go for a walk around the trailer, we might start on the kitchen, and then we'll work our way around and I'll show you through every compartment and talk about a little bit of the capability with the Patriot Camper DeWalt X2. On the left hand side of the X2 is the kitchen area. Now inside this area you'll find all of your LED switches uh, for turning on the lights. You've got 12 volt power right around the trailer with a 350 watt inverter on the other side for powering uh, battery chargers, laptops, all that sort of gear. Uh, lots of storage area. For lunches on the building site, you've got a twin burner stove. Up the front of the trailer you've got a gas bottle holder and you just plug the stove straight into the back. Uh, the other thing that's really handy with this compartment, if you're using this in your working scenario, perfect place to do quotes, store all your paperwork, brochures and all the rest of it, uh, and you can work straight out of here. The awning I'm actually not going to set up inside here, we're a little bit limited with headroom, but for your lunch stops and again out on the building site, you can pop the awning up here, lock the awning in. This is 270 degrees, so it fans all the way around, goes right around the back of the trailer. If you're living up in Queensland during the summers, you're out on building sites, uh, see a lot of guys sitting under trees, having lunch and all the rest of it. Uh, this is the perfect spot to do it. You've got all stainless steel uh, bench tops as well. Before we move to the next compartment, I might talk a little bit about the capability of the Patriot X2. So, Depending on the configuration, this one here, like I said, sits at 800 kilos. You've got a 1.6 ton uh, GVM on this. Uh, so you can run about 800 kilos of gear up on the roof if you need to. 33 inch tires. You've got Cruise Master's uh, independent X2 suspension underneath. Building sites typically going to be muddy or, or some of them hard to get into, some of the big uh, construction sites. You can park this trailer up absolutely wherever you need to. So let's move around to the back and I'll run you through the kitchen slide and the fridge compartment. Moving around to the rear of the trailer, you'll notice with the X2 it doesn't have a spare wheel on the back like the X1. The spare is a space saver and it's tucked up underneath the front of the chassis. You've got wet storage boxes, um, which are really handy compartments for any of that type of gear that you don't want to put back inside your trailer. Let's say, for example, in a tradie type situation, a half open bottle of oil with a with a rickety cap and, and everybody carries one of them and I've spilled a lot of them in, inside trailers in the past. Uh, stainless steel bench tops at the back as well. When the awning is deployed and it's all the way out, this gives another really nice area. Uh, a couple of camp chairs here and that's at perfect table height uh, for eating meals and all the rest of it. Lots of storage in the back. Uh, you got your pole storage up the top for your awning or any other sort of long gear that you need to carry. But then this is your main kitchen and pantry in the X2, which comes straight out the rear. X2's been designed to hold a 50 litre fridge. There's a couple of different models you can put in there. The Dometic is really the weapon of choice, I suppose, for us. It was actually designed for a, a CFX 50, like you see here, which is a, a fridge or freezer. You can freeze it down or, or fridge. And then you've got a big pantry in this side here. You've got a cutlery drawer, which comes out the side. And then there's also a pop-up sink uh, for washing up dishes and all the rest of it. That's about it for the rear of the trailer. We'll move around to the DeWalt side, and I call it the DeWalt side because this is where we made the modifications specifically for DeWalt. Coming up to the driver's side of the trailer, and you get a really good perspective here. This trailer is only three metres long, so realistically there is nowhere that you cannot take it. 33 inch tyres like I was talking about before, Pcor 16 by 8 inch wheels, you've got a 10 inch electric drum brake behind there as well. 
The chassis is all hot dip galvanised and all of the boxes are aluminium, so everything above the chassis is non-corrosive and really all the materials in the X2 are non-corrosive. There's grease points and service points on the hitch and all of the suspension, um, so you can really maintain this thing yourself. On the side you'll notice the DeWalt decal and the DeWalt yellow colour. Now this is a one-off trailer, it's worth noting that as well. This is not a product that is available in this configuration, but you can buy an X2 in any of the four standard Patriot Campers colours. Let's have a look on the side, and this is what Dave and I uh, were working on in the last video. So we've set up in this side of the trailer a couple of DeWalt uh, storage boxes. I think I personally have about 15 or 20 of these in different boxes set up for different trips and different scenarios. Again, depending on the job that you might be doing, you might want to interchange uh, the boxes. Typically speaking, without this setup, this is a free storage area, so you can really pack into there whatever you like. We've put the DeWalt charger uh, in this side as well with the 350 watt inverter, which is enough to power most gear, but if you need any more power than that, uh, you can upgrade that inverter up to whatever you like. And it's probably worthwhile speaking about the battery management system in this trailer now as well. This trailer comes standard with one 135 amp hour battery. You can option on the second battery or you can option uh, lithium batteries as well, which if you're drawing big power consumption, lithium is definitely the way to go. You can connect solar straight into it. It's set up for solar and it has Redux battery management system, uh, which controls all the inputs and all of the outputs of the power system. With that as well, uh, for your off the grid sort of travelling in your day to day, there's an 85 litre water tank underneath with an electric pump. There's two outlets um, on the X2, so you've got water when you're on site also. We'll move around to the front, to the man cave. Uh, another great storage area, which is going to be perfect uh, for tradesmen that are considering a multi-use trailer. Moving around to the front of the trailer, before I get into what's going on up here, uh, this one here has got a TJM Yulara rooftop tent, as I said in the start of the video. You can option on whatever you like. If you want to put a platform rack or any style of tent, the X2 and the X1N now will both fit any of your hard shell rooftop tents as well, like a James Baroud or, or anything else. It comes with the trucks in the top, so it's really just a matter of bolting on whatever accessories that you specifically need for whatever you're intending on doing with the trailer. You've got a galvanized chassis, like I said, and you've got an extendable drawbar at the front. So if you're driving a, a tray back ute, which might have the ball underneath the, the back of the tray, we can extend this uh, up to 200 millimetres so you can get full articulation, full swing around the back of any size ute. Even if you're running uh, something bigger like an Aveco Daily or a 2500 Ram with a two metre or a two metre plus tray, we can accommodate for that. There's a DO35 coupling, so a full off-road coupling at the front and jockey wheel. But let's have a look in front of the box. Whole front end of the trailer is Rhino lined. Uh, to stop it uh, getting scratched. This one here has also got the option of a hot water system. So you basically just undo those clips, hot water system comes out, can hang on the side and you've got instant hot water. Um, there could be multiple uses again on the job site for having hot water, but I think that's probably more suited to camping. The front box has actually been designed to hold six 20 litre jerry cans. So you can put another 120 litres uh, of any type of fluid in the front that you may need to carry, but 20 litre buckets will fit in there as well, which is going to be something else, again, that's going to be really multi-use for a tradie. So that's about it for the front box. So there's a quick walk around the DeWalt Patriot Campers X2. Now, if you haven't considered it before, there is multi-use for a Patriot Camper if you're a tradesman. Get out there on the weekends, get the family out there, go and do whatever you love doing best, four-wheel driving, fishing, hanging out with the missus, running up and down the beach with the kids, and then on Monday morning, very easy to convert it into the ultimate tradies trailer that can really do a lot more than your standard sort of six by four box trailers. It's not gonna suit every tradie, but there's a product to consider, and the reason the Patriot Campers have teamed up with DeWalt to build the ultimate tradies trailer. Well, a giving away a limited edition Patriot Camper X2 plus a Ram 1500 Express Crew Cab V8 Hemi Ram Box, the ultimate tradies truck and trailer. All you have to do is purchase any DeWalt product for a chance to win.